Welcome back. Welcome back to yet again another uh, broken live stream. <laughs> this whole thing is teaching me a, a, an interesting lesson that maybe I should just stop trying um, to make VODs at all. Because if this is going to keep happening, it's, it's going to be impossible. Alright, I'm back. Yeah. Well, this the computer's back on. <laughs> let's let's keep going. Here we go. Let's just ignore all that. We're back. Welcome back to the security breach broken stream um glitchy game hour. Here we are. <laughs> My entire computer shut off. It blue screened. I've never blue screened before. That was my first blue screen. It's terrifying. The whole thing just shut off. Can you believe that I'm back on? My face isn't real. I have the. I, I can literally start my stream after 15 seconds. That's crazy. I restarted my entire computer. Everything automatically turned on and I hit a single button and it all worked. I feel like that's the five years of experience right there. It's not that I can prevent the crashes. It's that I can magically recover from them in literal seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Now I should be able to find the lift controls. I'm, I'm legitimately thinking about the idea of maybe just I should just delete my VOD channel entirely because I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know, the most stressful part of streaming is the VODs because it's like after the stream's over, you have to highlight all the VODs, set them all up, put them on your stream. You have to do the highlighting, the clipping, the you have to take the separate recording, upload it to YouTube. Then you got to make thumbnails for the VODs. You got to set up the VODs. You got to do all this extra work. Because you're supposed to have like this professional archive of everything you've ever done. But then also everything you've ever said live is recorded. So if you said something that's going to be problematic in a, in a year or two years, well, that's there. Um, if there's anything you ever want to just not remember about your past, well, it's there. It, like, records all your failures. So it's like, oh, you have a bad stream and everything's breaking and nothing's working? Well, here's a, a record of it for the next, for the rest of time. Here's a record of your stream crashing and you failing and everybody can see it and it's up and now you you have to spend 20 minutes uploading it and making a thumbnail and putting the thumbnail in and setting it up. After you've already streamed for four hours. And now here's a record of you failing. That's just up. And everybody can see it. It can just see how shitty you are at what you're doing. And I'm like, why even have VODs? There's something else in here. What's I think 90% of the things on my stream What's... that are cringy are from me oh. trying to set up VODs. <laughs> I can see you on the monitor. I didn't think he could stand up. Consider it a second win. Freddy, I see Roxy and Monty on the cameras. They're both coming to the office. Do not let them in. The security doors are equipped with electrical deterrents. If you see them banging on the doors, hit the appropriate button. The shock should stun them. Okay, but how do I get out of here? Do you see the large vent? In yes, the I see the large vent on the floor. I figured out why I died the first time, by the way. The reason I died the first time is because um, I didn't go to the vent when the time was running out. And yes, Among Us, Amogi, venting. Freddy's sus. I still don't understand how Vanny killed me. I guess she just shows up. Maybe, oh, maybe the countdown timer isn't until, oh, I get it. That's dumb. I get it now. 
The countdown timer isn't how long I need to survive. The countdown timer is how long until Vanny shows up to instantly murder me. And at some point during this five minute timer, Freddy will show up down there to let me out. And I have to, that's so dumb. That's the dumbest shit ever. But yeah, the reason you do VODs in the per in the first place is so that um, so that you can be seen by more people. It's to it's to grow your stream, right? It's like a like a marketing thing. You make more VODs so that the VOD channel exists, so more people will come and watch you, you know, do the stream, and people who miss the stream can come and watch it. And it's like this this whole thing, true. But you're you're a, you're a kind of an enigma. You're just a person that was watching random tiny streamers who's interested in seeing a, a train wreck forever. I was playing, um, I think it was, uh, AI Dungeon. I think that's when you showed up. That's usually where most people that stick around for a long time show up from. Anytime I've ever had somebody that shows up, no matter what, even when everything's breaking and they just keep hitting refresh and hanging out, it's always been someone from that game. I don't know what it is about that game. Can they even get in here? I feel like I don't even need to do any of this. I'm curious, but not curious enough to even check. Because if I had to wait and let them in, then I'd have to do this all over again. And I don't want to do it. It's not even worth figuring out if you can fail. Hmm. I feel like... Yeah, this is this is awful. I, where the hell is Freddy? He's taking his sweet time to show up. Two minutes left, apparently. But yeah, now I'm actually thinking about it. I'm thinking about, like, whether or not VODs are worth it. What is this for? What does this do? Why are there buttons here? What are these buttons for? There he is. Am I supposed to be letting him through the doors? Can you see me? I... Can I see him? Oh my god. That's what I'm supposed to be doing? This is even dumber than I thought it was. Okay. So let, let's... Let's think about this for a second. This is the plot of this minigame. This minigame is... You have a five minute timer. You must... Lock... Hit the buttons to tase the guys who are there. But they don't actually break in. So you're just hitting the buttons for no reason. So you're waiting for Freddy to go from room to room while you hit buttons to let Freddy in. This is the maybe the dumbest thing I've ever done in a video game. Oh, she broke through. Freddy? Okay. Well, we've learned they can break through. It just takes a long time. All right, let me let me get this straight. Let me just let me just contextualize how dumb this is. This is dumb. Kill me. I want to start over. Kill me. Do it. 
that I cannot believe. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. Okay. So if I'm getting this right, they wanted to recreate. I have to go and get a pass or something. Where is it? They wanted to recreate a FNAF level where you run around and you do FNAF stuff, right? So the, the regular FNAF thing is like there's doors. You have to check the cameras and open and close doors, right? That's that's the original Five Nights at Freddy's vibe. And they were like, what if we did that, but you're actually in the room? Good idea. So the way they execute that is they put a door on each side of the room. And the doors have health. And the enemies will bang on the door until the health goes away. And then they will break in and kill you. Okay, makes sense. And you need to tase those robots. Cool. Makes sense. Sure. Why not? You you will that's happened in the games before. Why not? You, you electrocute them to prevent here. them from doing it. What's this? It looks <laughs> great question. Gregory, what did you do? Something happened. But then at the same time as you're doing all those mechanical things, you have to also I let Freddy in the in the doors. I just don't get this mechan this game at all. It doesn't make any sense. I get why I'm doing it and how it works now. But I don't know why anyone would make this. <laughs> but how has my day been? Um, fine, I guess. I don't know. I woke up and immediately started this stream. So technically, not great. I think I've learned a lot. <laughs> yes, it's only been going for 12 minutes. Push the button in front of the corresponding monitor to open the door. There you are. Gregory, I cannot stop her. Quickly, open the door. But yeah, as as for how my day has been. Um, well, my day was uh I was tired from last night and I I didn't go to bed early enough. So I got up after like seven hours of sleep to start the stream. And I was like, okay, I'm excited. Let's do the stream. And I run up, I turn it on. Everything's working fine. 10 minutes into the stream, whole stream crashes, lag back and forth. I think my computer has completely collapsed four times. Yep. Yeah, it's like, um, I'm tired, but here's the silver lining of everything. I don't know if I'm really that tired anymore. But this I think the silver lining is that I think I've learned some very interesting things about myself because of all these stream crashes and about this marathon as a whole. Also, I learned a lot of things technically about why the stream could break. It's new ways for it to break. I have a question though. For, for red. Um, do you think I should have VODs? Because Spikey thinks I shouldn't have VODs at all. Um, and I've been thinking about it. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. I just don't know if it's worth it. I, I got a couple of views recently. That's not what you said? Okay. Well, the, Spikey has... In, in what Spikey has been saying has made me think maybe I should just get rid of my VODs. does not have them because then I could put all my energy into just putting on a good show and I don't have to worry about making the show um, work as a VOD so having the title card that I redo five times because every time the stream crashes I got to do the title card again so that it's the start of the VOD is, is a is an actual intro and then editing them all into highlights and putting them out on a channel and you know 
Hmm. Well, I'm already putting the minimum amount of, of thought and effort that most streamers do. The only way to go any lower would be to just not do them. But yeah, he is being dramatic. You're right, Monty. Dramatic as can be. This is the weirdest mini game I've ever played, though. Like, if you think about how this game works, it is a weird game. I mean, like, technically speaking, this game this is this is a very impressive mini game. Monty is is that guy right there. He's Montgomery Gator. I mean, technically speaking, this is very impressive because it's running multiple things at the same time. Freddy is physically running around from room to room waiting for me to press a button to let him into the next room. And then at the same time, these guys are running and it's giving me the camera feeds of all of them. Is that him? Freddy? No? I heard him stepping. True. The cameras are on low frame rate. That's the limitation, I guess. Where is he asking me to do... Oh, shit. They're gonna break through. Oh, no. Oh, no. I... I... Where? Where? That's the wrong door. Freddy? Freddy, where are you? Where are you, Freddy? Which monitor is he on? Freddy? There he is. Go! There. Fred! Freddy! You saved me! Freddy! I'm so sorry. Best friends. Controls. All I found was this disc thing. Follow me to the atrium. That is a program disc for the stage show. If you use it in the sound booth, you should be able to run a showtime program, which will activate the lift. Okay. Uh-oh. Where is she? Fanny's here. There she is! There was no autosave. There's no autosave. No! No! God! Why? <laughs> oh, this is this is awful. Got it. I just want everyone to know who's watching. Red, spiky, random third person, uh, who has, who's also here, um, and various peoples who have jumped in and out, um, I'm sorry. Not every one of the games this month is gonna be like this. By the time we beat this game, I will already know how to fix, I will have already fixed all these stream glitches that have been happening, and I will already, you know be better at doing this show, but also, I won't be playing this forever. Lies. Lies. That arrow is a lie. Lies. This is, this is, this is, it is true. I am actually sorry. The guilt I feel is immeasurable. For how bad this is. But... I can't fucking believe the way that this game is designed. I'm sorry for everyone watching, but you know what? That's the point, right? It's supposed to be a terrifying trick. I guess the trick's on on me and you. Damn. I didn't think you could stand up. I see Roxy and Monty on the cameras. They're both coming to the office. Do not let them in. You know, after streaming for so many years, I feel like I'm starting to finally figure out what the hell the entire appeal of streaming is. Okay, but how do 
I get out of here? I always treat it like it's like a show I'm putting on and I'm it's like a let's play, right? Like I'm creating a piece of content as the stream goes. And I feel like what it actually is is just a place to come hang out. If you see me waving, push the button in front of the corresponding monitor to open the door. I feel like every big streamer kind of understands that all they really need to do is just be there. So that's why most of the big streamers are just reacting to YouTube videos. Because I think they get that it's... This isn't actually supposed to be like a show, like like I'm putting on a live performance. It's just supposed to be like a fun person to hang out with. Or to watch hang out with other people. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> if it wasn't live, it'd be very confusing. Imagine if all of this was pre-recorded. This was all planned. The glitches, the bugs, everything breaking down. It was all planned. The stream crashing four times. This game being inconsistent and glitchy. All planned. Everything I do. Pre-recorded. The whole thing. The VODs, the VODs being broken into multiple pieces. Yeah, Pre-recorded. Pre, pre me midstream realizing that maybe I should just stop doing VODs altogether because it's because it's, what's the point? Because it's not a good piece of content to watch and it's not worth it. All re pre recorded. It's all planned, all ahead of time. <laughs> yep, every every crash was broken. It was all made to, it was all set up, man. Yeah, there. I'm the master of masters. Yep. The Masters of Masters themselves on the YouTube channel has showed up multiple times and claimed me as the Master of Masters many times. That's me. Aloni the mom. Better change my branding. <laughs> I actually think as a cell, it's way more exciting to be like, hey, guess what? If you want to watch my stream, you better show up. If you don't show up, it'll never happen. You'll never see it. I think that's better. Unis Honest style. Is Freddy at one of these doors yet? There he is. There he is. The idea that it only happens once. Takes away the anxiety a lot, to be honest. Here's the thing that I find really sad about my VOD channel. I record these streams, right? And then I put the VOD up on the YouTube channel almost like right after. And then I'll plug the I'll plug the VOD channel sometimes in my videos. I'll be like, hey, here's me reacting to the entire Kingdom Hearts movie, right? And then people will go watch it. But when you look at the actual stats for the channel, the only thing the VOD channel has ever done for people is it's a really cool thumbnail that they click on and then they immediately stop watching the video because they realize it's a stream. So all my VOD channel has ever done is just troll people at this point. That's all it does. It just people see a thumbnail of me on a game and they go, oh, a cool, fun let's play. And then they click on it and it's like a buggy stream where like for, there's like 10 minutes of me talking to the audience and getting the show ready. And then the, it's just... <laughs> yeah I guess that's true I should just advertise it as a VOD and just allow VOD watchers watch it I feel like I watch VODs sometimes but it's only ever because I care about the streamer it's like oh I want to see more of this person so I'll watch their VOD hmm that's true I don't know. Part of me thinks that I should just make a... If I want to do Let's Plays, I should just make a Let's Play channel instead. Like, if I'm going to live stream, I should just stream. I should stop trying to do everything all at the same time, you know? But yeah, I watch VODs sometimes. I like watching them. 
But they're usually background noise while I'm working on something else. And it's usually like... If I watch a, a, a live, like a stream, like a longer thing... VODs... It's... I don't, I don't know. You know? Oh yeah, true. Of course not. I get that. Oh, she's coming for me. Where's Vanny's coming? Freddy. Save me. No! No! He was there! I was about to get out. <sighs> Damn. No, I get it. I get why you wouldn't want to watch my VODs, because the whole point, the thing you enjoy about my VODs and about my streams is that you're just talking to me. That's why people go to live streams, right? Is to talk to the streamer or to put on his background noise. Right? Isn't that the point? It's like you're interacting with the stream. You type, type shows on screen, you talk streamer. And then it goes, be then some people go beyond that and they're like, me give money streamer. Me make sound stream to streamer right I feel like hmm great idea right why isn't it in there that's a great question why isn't there a save in the room I don't know why is there a save room at all why isn't there just an auto save like, I get why they made... Okay, the reason they made the saves is so that they could control when you can save, right? But if you are in... You are in control of the autosaves. If you don't want me to have an autosave, just don't have one. Why give me save files? Like, it just doesn't make any... Why are you putting the Otis on me to save the game? What's this? It looks... The whole reason save games exist in the first place is because games couldn't autosave. The only reason Resident Evil keeps saves is because the saves are supposed to be the end of the chapter. They still have auto saves. I just don't. I just don't get it. Okay, but how do I get out of here? Do you see the large vent in the floor? You are probably standing right on top of it. Oh my god, I know, Freddy! Shut up! Let me play the game! <laughs> All the doors appear to be on lockdown. Look for me on the monitors. If you see me waving, push the button in front of the corresponding monitor to open the door. There you are. See you soon. Hurry, Gregory! I cannot stop her! Over here! Okay. Number one. There we go. He's there. I I think this is the worst mini game I've ever played. Truly. I think this might be the worst mini game ever. They did it. They need a Razzies for video games. <laughs> they need like an award show for the worst th sins in gaming. Because this would win many awards. Most ambitious game. But also, worst execution. I still can't tell if they can actually get in here. Only one time did they get in here. If that's the health of the door, that's ridiculous. Over here. Freddy! Where is he? Fred? True. Freddy? Down. 
I did it! Save me. Okay. I'm so sorry. Leave. I find any lift controls. We have to leave now. All I found was this disc thing. Follow me to the atrium. That is a program. We've done it. For the stage show. It's over. If you use it in the sound booth, you should be able to run a showtime program. There's a save. Activate the lift. Why did Vanny kill me last time? I couldn't tell you why. She kills you at the end. I took too long. I, I didn't do good enough. I don't know. Alright. Freddy, keep limping. Let's go. Fun adventures await. How long? I don't even know what time it is. How long have I actually been streaming? All right, we still got two hours left. Let's let's ignore all the glitches, all the crashes, all the talk about VODs, and let's actually get back to, to actually having a show. Yes. True. Vandy can apparently break the laws of physics, really. Every time I see a save, I'm going to save now. In the last... In the last part of the game. The, the timer runs out and then Vanny comes to kill you. Go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Run the performance program okay. on that disc. Then meet me back on the stage. Please hurry. You do not have much time. It is almost the end of the hour. I will wait here. Guys, five hours at Freddy's. We're almost on hour two. I, I can't. Is that just? I, if that doesn't sum up the problems with this game, I don't know what does. We're gonna make this. There's this popular series. It's called Five Nights at Freddy's. It's about being a security guard in a in a pizzeria with robots in it, and you need to survive for five nights. What should we do? Well, you play a little kid in a pizza plex, and you you have to survive for five hours. Okay. That sounds cool. That sounds like a cool idea. Security barriers now. Yeah. Okay, how do I get upstairs? I mean, hmm. I can help. Oh no. Oh, I get it. I get. Okay. Nope. Nope. Mm. For half. Five hours of Freddy's. Gotta survive. Thank God there's a save there. All right, you just stay your say your shit. Go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Mm -hmm. Run the performance program on that disc. I heard someone was working on a mod for this game, where they make it an actual FNAF game. I want to play that. It's like Skyrim. The potential is is infinite. Mm hmm. Well, here's the thing that's really fascinating about Gregory is that you can duck, right, to sneak around, and you can run. You can duck run, and then you can actual run. They're different speeds. Sometimes you forget that you're ducking, or I forget to duck the entire game. At this point, like, I'm no longer sneaking. I just run at full speed, so maybe sneaking is important. Look at her. She's just sitting there. She can still see me from across the room. What am I supposed to do there? I guess I'm just supposed to run. The exciting gameplay of let them look at you and run away. <laughs> it's it's not hide and seek anymore. It's na 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 boo boo. Come get me. Hey. Hey, come get me. Run. They're coming for me now. Now I gotta run! The exciting gameplay of run away. Yeah, this part is fun. The part where they're right behind you and you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. That's fun. You know what? I'm coming back around on it. There's a point where you where you think a game is so dumb that that it's great. I'm I'm there now. 
I think if I was a kid, I would love the shit out of this game. Because it, I just realized, you know, the game's not for me. That's what it is. This might be the funnest game in the world if you're like 10. I get it now. They're like, who's the main audience of Five Nights at Freddy's? 10 year olds. Who cannot play a Five Nights at Freddy's game? 10 year olds. What do we do? Let's make Five Nights at Freddy's game for 10 year olds. What do 10 year olds like to do? They like to run around. They like to hide. Okay, what if we make a game where it's hide and seek? And then if you if they catch you, you die. Cool. Makes sense. I get it now. How did I not see it before? I'm 10 at heart now. I've accepted it. I've accepted what this game is. And now I know. And now I'm cool with it. I get it now. I get the vibe. Do, 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 do. I should have got it from day one. The second the game starts, when it has the action cutscene with, like, all four of the robots dancing and it's playing epic action music. It's like the epic 80s music. It's like, da 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 That's the tone. That's the tone of this game. We're having fun time. Do, 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 do. Don't kill me. She's right behind me. Oh, God. No. No. Oh. La 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 la. <sighs> Epic gameplay. Let's go. Gregory, my do, 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 do. <laughs> go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Run the mm -hmm. performance program on that disc. Then meet me back on the stage. I can't wait for the DLC. The DLC is supposed to be supposed to be a lot better. I'm excited to see how this game works when it's trying to be scary. I don't know what the, the the thing about Vanny is they never actually explain what happens when she's getting near you. So there's two common theories about the whole Vanny line thing when she gets near you. Theory one is that Gregory is a robot and she is using like an like a, a disruptor that disrupts the cameras. So it, it prevents cameras from looking at her. So when she gets near you, the camera gets all wobbly because Gregory is a robot, right? That's that's the theory that explains why. The other theory is that she has what's called a sound illusion disc, which is a thing from the books, which is this little disc thingy that makes noise that disrupts sight and um, like computers and monitors and electronics. So she's just like messing with everybody that near her. It. I hope Freddy's okay. I should get back to the Both are really away. dumb. But I... I mean, Gregory could be a robot. It would make a lot more sense. But I feel like in all the extended lore about Gregory, the whole thing is that he's like a kid that's tragically been taken over by, by Glitch Trap or whatever. That's what the extended lore says. So it's like, why would he be a robot and be a kid that's tragically being taken over? You know? That, that's a hat on a hat. Like, if they're gonna make him a robot, just do that, you know? I guess technically they never don't do that. They never show his family or, like, his life. So maybe he is just a robot. I don't know. Where is she? She's nearby. I don't like this. She's doing her thing. Just run. She can't get you if you run. Nice. Pipe pipes, pet freddies. <laughs> no, I ran out of run. I, uh, I thought I could run past him. Oh. I really wonder what they want me to do here. They do want me to, like, they... <sighs> it's fine. 
it's chill. It, it's totally, absolutely, positively chill. Why can I open this? But then when I press it, it doesn't do anything. That's weird. Gregory, my systems are failing. Go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Run the performance program on that disc. Then meet me back on the stage. Please hurry. You do not have much time. It is almost the end of the hour. I will wait here. Okay. Makes sense. Cool lore. She's using her magic god powers to fry my brains. I think I get what they want me to do here, which is run, 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 sneak. You have to think like a kid. You have to be ten. Freddy said the booth is on the third floor. Be ten. What would a ten-year-old do in this situation? Run, 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 sneak. Makes sense. Shit, Chica. No, it's not Chica, it's her. Where's Chica at? Damn it! Through the wall! Okay. Riveting. Gregory, my systems are failing. Mm hmm. Go to the south. His systems are failing, guys. We we gotta go to the balcony, guys. Run, 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 run. Sneak. They don't see me, guys. See? If I don't move, they can't see me. They're like raptors. Um, technically in the lore, no. Some people believe that there are ghosts in the robots. But I think they only believe that because of the original games. I think in the actual lore. That's true. Why not just throw water on the robots? Makes sense. I can't wait till we get to the good part where they give me a goddamn gun. That's what I'm excited for. I just want to get there. I want to start blasting. Said the booth is on I'm excited. I thought we'd be there already, but you know, 15 glitches later, here we are. How long to beat said this will take 10 hours. I was like, cool, two two and a half streams. No, they didn't take into account. Stream crashes and glitches. Yes. So... The way the game is trying to do it is that all the robots in this pizzeria run off of... God damn it. Here's the thing about Five Nights at Freddy's. There's two versions of the lore. One, there's what's in the actual games, and then two is what the, the audience has created. That's the fun thing about FNAF, right? So in the in the game lore, all we know about these robots is that they're just really smart and they, they have their own sort of sentience. In the extended lore of the universe, um, they created this thing called the Mimic Program, which is in all the books and stuff, and then it shows up later in the games a little bit. But basically, there's this thing called the Mimic Program. It's a program that's an AI learning program tool that was apparently invented in the 80s because in this universe everything is fucking 30 years more advanced because William Afton super genius I guess um but they they created this thing called the mimic program which basically is it's it's an AI that learns based on watching you so it repeats what you do and it slowly learns so then they found that and they built this whole place on it and all it is is they get there's there's a robot body. God damn it. The bite of eighty seven, but it's a it's a it's a bite. Like a data bit. Are you lost? Yeah, look at the thingy. You don't see me. Just just ignore it. Just ignore them. Get upstairs. There's a save there. I can save after I get the thing. I just have to get away from her. Sneak away. I didn't sneak. I'm walking at full speed, lady. Damn it! Fuck off! I hate them! Distraction! <laughs> 
robot that we fought is Cassie. I'm trying to think. Yes. Yeah. In in the DLC. Yeah. Yeah. The the mimic that's downstairs. Yeah. That's the original mimic. Yeah. The one that's in the base. Yeah. That we'll see later. Yeah. That's that's the robot. Yeah. So they built that robot. It's a ro it's a big metal robot. It's a skeleton basically that can move around. So then they made new versions called the Mimic 2.0, which is what all of these are. It's a it we'll meet them soon if we can make it far enough. I'm not gonna spoil, but <laughs> I like that I care about spoiling when it's like one of you has already seen it and the other one doesn't care. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, Spikey doesn't care about spoilers. Spikey gives no shits. Spikey's here to watch the shit show. They're here to watch me struggle. <laughs> and chat. Damn. I love that sound that just this the string sound that tells me someone has seen me. But it just keeps going off, and I have no idea why. Stop it! There's like three robots right now. Me neither. I'm saving. Just making a new save slot. So I don't have to do that again. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, so there's a bunch of robots. They're skeletons. They're called endo, uh, mimic endos. And basically what they do is they repeat whatever they're taught. So there's a whole daycare that hopefully we're going to go to soon. Uh, where they're being trained for their, like, like babies. Basically all these robots start like neutral, um, robots that just do whatever they see. And they just repeat the tasks they're shown and they're slowly programmed. Just like real life robots. Um... There's actual real-life robots being made right now that are using the exact same concept. Which is, it's it's a robot that has a learning AI in it, and the AI is slowly learns how to do stuff, and they teach it. And it slowly copies what they do. So the way it works is that over time, these robots will start developing tics and little um, personality traits. Kind of like how ChatGPT... The way the whole way ChatGPT works is based on AI hallucinations, which is basically Why are that. Why so many security barriers now? A robot will um, spit out random nonsense, and it's called hallucinations, and it'll get more and more random. And as it does, it kind of, in this case, it starts to develop a personality. So then, as the robots develop personalities, then they get given a, a persona and an identity to be. And that's why they all have feelings and emotions Great and they exist as like restore. seem sentient. Just push that button. The lift will take us to add parts and service. Some people think there's actually ghosts in these people in these robots. The only one that may be actually a ghost is what Freddy, is because he's helping you, and some people think that there's a ghost in there. Quickly, I don't know. Get to the uh oh. Station. No. Not you. Me, 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 me. Not you. Not him. Don't make him come back. Oh, God. Freddy, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him. Freddy. A real villain. No! Leave him alone! You monster! I hate him. Yeah. I mean, technically, Freddy... The reason Freddy's helping us is because he was hacked at the beginning. In the in the greater lore. He got hacked, and now he like us. Uh, and he's in safe mode, so the the programming that's that's been infecting him is infecting him less. Um, the reason the robots are, like, trying to kill us is because there's a different version of Mimic that's going around that's Glitch Trap. Can you hear me? And it's Freddy's spreading. I have to get him out. Yes, but he's also an expert hacker. There's a bunch of ta a bunch of CDs that 
the, that are therapy tapes of him and Vanessa are hidden in this game. And if you get them all, it tells you the, the story. Please take this map. Thank you. Take a map. Thank you, Mapbot. I don't know. He's he's a savant. He's gifted. It's all he knows. Hmm. It's a map of the utility tunnels. It looks like there's a security office nearby. If I can find another security badge, I can get into parts and service. Yep. Well, too bad. The lift reset. I don't see a way to control it from here. Yes. So in my last YouTube video, I talked about it, but um, yeah. So Gregory uh, is is patient forty six supposedly. There's two people in the tapes. There's one person named patient forty six, and there's one person that's Vanessa. And as the story goes on, you don't know who patient forty six is, but it has basically been confirmed by like an extra book that that it's Gregory. Um, there's a book from Tales of the Pizza Plex where um, there's a kid who's going around and he calls himself Dr. Rabbit in all the forums and he's getting all these these gamer kids um, slowly uh, killed one by one I think I haven't I haven't read it I've only seen people talk about reading it which is why I want to go read all the FNAF books one at one point um, but basically he's he's messing with all these kids and at the end it is revealed that oh it's it's him. Look, there's one of the robots. Hey, there's something here. Just in time. There they are. Remember, Spikey, when you said, hey, it's like running away from the weeping angels? Now it is. Yeah, well, the reasoning behind it is that he's been possessed by Glitchtrap, just like um, other people in the lore, just like Vanny. Um, and Glitchtrap is manipulating him, and that's why he's doing it. I wonder it. if there's a way around. It doesn't really come across in the game, though. In the game, you're just some kid. Because I think... I don't even know if they really planned all that. I think that was done after the fact, but maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's coming. He's the spider thingy. He's coming. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Now is the real part where the game gets good. Here we go. Yes, thank you. Hmm, who's my favorite Doctor Who villain that I don't think is scary as fuck? Hmm. That's a great question. I really like the Cybermen. I think out of all the characters, I think Cybermen are probably up there for me. But, like, that's not scary... That's probably it for me, is the Cybermen. I feel like Cybermen can be scary if they're done right, but I don't think they've ever really been that scary. I think the concept is cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess the... What's it called is scary. The, the Weeping Angels are pretty spooky. I think the Weeping Angels are actually legitimately in the beginning very terrifying. I think the more they show up, the less scary they are. Yeah, the concepts are scary, but the the in execution they're not that scary. I mean, it that it's kind of like this game. It's made for kids, you know. It's like uh, Doctor Who is all ages. But yeah, see, here we go. So this is how the robots are trained. This is the daycare. They take these robots that are empty and blank, and they introduce them to these pictures. And it says, "Hey, holding hands with the kid while their parent is there. That's great. Check mark. That's good." This is the daycare. This is where they train all their robots.
Ooh, who's my favorite Doctor Who companion? That's a great question. I like Amy and Rory a lot. I like Clara more than most people. Bill's pretty good. I don't know. I feel like I I don't know if I can have a favorite. So I like them all. This is what you look like inside? Creepy. I hmm. like you better with your shell on. Don't scare the children, it says. You're terrifying. Oh my god. I don't like that. This is actually scary now. Yeah, it's their skin, Gregory. Come on, be more respectful. Martha Jones is great. I do like Martha Jones. Mm, Nardal. I think Nardal's my favorite. If I were to name one. If I could only pay if I could only have one Doctor Who companion. Nardal. Capaldi's my favorite doctor, so I would say Nardal. I think they're talking about a plastic shell, Spikey. He's real mad. Ooh, that's a great one. That's a great question. Unnamed Doctor Who character. Maybe the first one that came to mind was the was the lady from uh, the 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 stewardess woman who never gets a name from Midnight. Look at this thing on the wall. So it's a it's a don't knock over kids cake, and then someone has spray painted a check mark to make them think it's okay. Somebody's corrupting these robots. Hmm. When you ask people what, the question about who's their favorite or who's the unnamed is Rose's, uh, oh, who's their favorite companion? They say Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Spike, you know who Rose is. You saw the first... How far are you into Doctor Who, by the way, Spike? Because you've been watching it for a while. I talked about it so much that they actually went and watched it. I don't know if it, that's why, but it... Maybe. I should have looked at that picture for more than two seconds. That picture's uh, important. It's a lore thing. Is it that picture right there? Nightmare plush. See, this room is confusing, lore-wise. Nobody knows what the hell's going on with this. There's so many things in this game that are like, people are like, oh, I still don't understand lore. Hmm. That's fine. Take your time. My favorite one isn't until, like, near the end. Capaldi. But yeah, I'd say out of all the unnamed characters, I'd say it's it's her. If you're if we're talking just like fun background characters, um, I like Alonzo. I think he's fun. He's only in like two episodes, but it's he's he's in the Titanic one, and the and then there's that episode where he shows up and him and Jack just flirt for like two seconds, and I'm like, nice. Even though he has like no personality whatsoever, I just like. Him. Okay, that shouldn't have happened. Ah, because of the essay. I forgot. Yeah, you started watching Doctor Who because you watched the How 13 Sucks video. Yeah, Xy's the five hour long essay about why Doctor Who's 13th Doctor sucks. I, I've kind of come gone back and forth on whether or not 13th bad. I think she's good. Like, I think... I think she's a good doctor. I actually think she's good. But I think she's given... She isn't given a lot. <coughs> I think she has two really... Or one or two really good episodes where she's actually the doctor. 
and shows that she can actually be the doctor if if Jody's given the right material and the right chances she can do it but like if you're in like 30 episodes of a TV show and you only feel like the character for like two episodes I don't know if, if anybody can really call you doing a good job but I feel like she had the potential to do it I actually think that um, the other doctor that's in that season is better uh, the fugitive doctor I actually think the fugitive doctor is so cool that I would like her to come back I feel like out of all the Capaldi stuff, I think she should show up. And yeah, my favorite doctor is is Peter Capaldi, 100%. Hey, that wall just moved. I think number two is David Tennant, and I think number three, I actually think is Shooty. I actually think Shooty is better than Matt Smith, but Shooty hasn't been given that much to do. He mostly just cries. But I just think personality-wise, I like his personality more than... Uh, than Matt Smith. I think they're they're up there. I think given more time, I think I'll love him more than Matt Smith. I think Matt Smith is this my number. Is what you look like inside? Number four of them. Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. But they're pretty neck and neck for me. But yeah, Capaldi's number one. Capaldi for life. He's the best one. Maybe it's because he's neurodivergent coded. I don't know. But I love because most of the doctors are all really excited to be in places. And he's the only one that, like, doesn't want to be bothered. I mean, there's that little bit where Matt Smith is like that, which is why he's higher up on the list. But there's just something about him. There's just something about Capaldi that's so fun. I just, I like everything about him. I think he gets really fun, like, in the middle. When he becomes, like, his full self, when he's, like, a full-on professor, I'm like, I love this guy. See, look, that's that looks like Cassidy from uh, the original FNAF. I don't know if that's what that's supposed to be, but also they're in a, ho they're in a hospital bed, but it's also got a bedroom nightstand fascinating so many people saw this image and were like what does this mean yeah Matt Smith's up there he's a lot of people's number one I just I started on I mean I started from the beginning so I was like an Eccleston guy when it was coming out um so I've gone through all of them, and I feel like, personally, I just like, uh, he's the second one. Or no, the third one. Um, so it goes, Christopher Eccleston, which is the first Doctor from the Modern Who. And then, um, then David Tennant shows up, then Matt Smith. <laughs> Shit. Then, um, who's after that? It's... Matt Smith, and then it's Capaldi, because I, yeah, he's right after, and then, uh, then there's 13, and now the new one. Oh, wait, and there's also David Tennant again, because he shows up. It's a lot. There's other ones in between, too, if you really want to be specific. You know, you got John Hurt does the War Doctor at one point, and then you got the Fugitive Doctor, who I really like. I think she's. I think she has is better as the Doctor than Jodie was. I kind of wish they just had Fugitive Doctor be the whole show. I would. I would kill for a Fugitive Doctor season. Just like a spinoff about the Fugitive like Doctor, because I think that character is so cool. Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. You're not even really sure when Fugitive Doctor happens. But she's supposed to be, a lot of people say, in between um, the, the classic Doctor number three and, and number two. There's like a blank spot where you don't see the change. And there's a theory that that's where she is. And I like that. No, he can't. He must speak. Run, 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 run. They're following me. They're chasing me. 
Gotta keep going in here. The lore implications of this room make no sense. After recently, they did an interview where the the creator of this game or one of the creators of this game did an interview uh, with FunAF, and they asked he can't, he said this thing during the interview that made me no longer think about like all this extra lore stuff as much. He said the he said the words theory theorist bait. He said some things in the game are just there to make people think about theories. And the second he said that, I went, oh, so none of this extra stuff really matters. We have no idea what's, what actually matters and what's just there to mess with us. Yeah, it's crazy. I think ultimately FNAF, sometimes I wonder if FNAF was ever planned in any way, if any of it has ever been planned. I feel like it's a lot of like making shit up as they go. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... I think the fun of FNAF is that we've created such a, a mythos and a lore around it. There is like a current understanding of Five Nights at Freddy's lore that I love. I, like, I love the lore because of how people have made it. Not so much like what's a fact and what's not. So many people get caught up on like what parts of the lore are true. And it's like, all of it is made up. Like, none of it is true, really. God damn it, I couldn't get out. Where am I supposed to go after I go in that room? I have to go in and get the plush and then go somewhere else. I don't even think you have to get the plush. The plush is a bonus. But I want to get it. I mean, maybe in the early days, FNAF had like a real consistent and real lore. But I feel like once we got to where we are now, once Help Wanted happened, I feel like now it, it can all be, you can be whatever you want at this point. Because when they straight up said that all the video games are just in universe now, then no Easter eggs, like everything is an Easter egg now. How do I get past you? Oh God. Oh God. Please no. Please no. So this is what you look like inside? Yep. Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. Is Freddy just always listening to us over the radio? What if I just run at full speed? Can I get away? Ooh, okay. This way. Go, 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 side path. How am I supposed to get past them if I do go in here, though? I think the quote you're trying to say is that William Afton, he always comes back. Is that what you're trying to quote there? God damn it. Where do I go? Where do I go? All right, I hit the button. I think I'm supposed to leave. I'm just gonna hide. He looked right at me. They both did. Funny how I can look at them and they can move around there. Can they only stop moving if they think I can see them? Fuck, Monty's here too. Okay. Can I peek? I can't peek. Uh oh. I can hear them. Are you lost? Run, 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 run. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out. Hide. <laughs> there he is. Hello, friend.
if you think about this game for more than two seconds, none of it makes any sense, and that's fine. I do think it's funny that the most common theory for Five Nights at Freddy's is that all of the games were just a dream up until four, and then they rebooted and then they weren't a dream. And then when they came out with this next era of Five Nights at Freddy's, they were like, all of it's a game. Some of it's a game. God damn it. Yeah, there you go. If something's touching plastic, they can't see you. How do I get out after that? So I know what I need to do. I, you need to get all the way in there and press that button. But then how the fuck do you get out? Get, damn, dude, that's the challenge, I guess. I just run at full speed. Maybe I can just get through here. That wall just moved. This is actually challenging and fun. So this is what you look like inside? Run, 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 run. I like you better with your shell on. Makes sense. If any of you are wondering what else I'm going to be doing during this marathon, there are many, many, many games on the list. There are other Five Nights at Freddy's games on the list. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna, at the end of every every time I beat a game, I'm gonna spin the wheel, and then we're, we're just gonna get what we're gonna get, and FNAF is on the list. So if I get FNAF again, we'll play FNAF again, but. Another crab's treasure is on the list. It's actually one of the wheel things. Like, it straight up says it on the wheel. It says crab's treasure. It's one of the treats. There's a lot of VR games on that list, too. And my favorite ever, the thing I'm really excited about, or the most, I'm the thing I'm most excited about is is uh, Dark Anthology. I want to play it again. No, Ending of Liza P isn't on there. Maybe it should be. No, damn it. This is hard, man. <laughs> At the end of the stream today, I could pull up the wheel and show you guys, I guess. I think what time are we at? Are we at 9 hours now? Yeah, we're at 9. We're at 9. I still have an hour and 15. I'm hoping I can get to the part where I get a freaking gun. I want a gun, damn it. That definitely happens in this game. It's definitely a gun. 100%. Okay. So just this is just what run. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what he looks I like, like inside. You with your shell on. Yeah, I want to play... I played them last year, and I loved it. Um, and yeah, we're playing... All, I want to play them all again. Like, I want to play Until Dawn and Quarry and then all of Dark Pictures. Um, I don't know if I can get them all. I don't know how many we're going to play, but I want to play them all. I haven't played the new ones. But it's been a year since I played them, and I still got people killed last time. I want to do it perfect. But I'm definitely going to start with Until Dawn. Like, I'm going to do them all in order. Because there's a bunch of them. It's, it's Until Dawn, then it's... Um, they're all on, on PlayStation Plus. That's why I want to play them all again. Because they're all on there. Except for the last two I think you had to pay for. And I don't know if they're free now. I have to look into it. I haven't checked. I, I know that a bunch of them are. Okay. 
I'm gonna hide. I've hit the button. Right? Is that what my mission was? It was hit the button? No, the button doesn't actually do anything. There must be more in here. That button must have opened a door somewhere. He's been there the whole time? Where do I go? I hit the button, it didn't open anything. It must have opened a door on this side. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> awful. This is awful. In here, I can feel them moving around on my controller. My controller is just shaking. supposed to do I'm scared about the third one I feel like I missed a step you know As there's a button at the end of the hall I hit it and it doesn't do anything and I wonder if is the game glitched or is there's a door I just haven't found Why? <laughs> Why are they right there? Go back home! The button is a lie! But yeah, Dark Anthology pictures, man, they're all very good. I never played the last two, I think. I didn't play the one... Um, the... <sighs> I can't remember what the last one was about. It was like a serial killer one, and then there was one after that. Th those two I didn't play. I want to play them. But I also re want to replay all the other ones. Okay, I think that's it. I think this is what opened. Maybe? I can't tell. Oh god, I don't think this is what opened. I think this is a dead end. This is awful. Awful. You suck, sir. <laughs> yes. There's a bunch of them. I, I can't remember. I, I think that's, yeah, that's the one with all the ghosts. That one's twist was crazy. There's so many. Um. They're all very good. And we're going to go through them all. My favorite one is the is the action one. That one's so good. The House of the Ashes is so good. It's supposed to be like Alien. Which is also on the list. Alien Isolation. The, the Apparently the scariest game ever made, this according to Reddit. This is what you look like inside? Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. Cause I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna try to play it in VR, which is probably a bad decision. Oh yeah, it's my favorite. I love that. I love the thing I love the most about this game is when characters just repeat the exact same line over and over. It's my favorite. I think that's what opens. That's probably the door. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. I figured it out. I've cracked the code. Gonna get this. Grab the theorist bait. And. Button. Yep, I get it. I get it now. Okay, it activated him. That's what's happening. Okay. Yep, that's it. 
This is the door. Go! Ho oh, ho 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 You can't get me! You can't get me, bro! Fuck you! Oh, there's more. Oh, God. This is great. This is the best part. If the whole game was this, this game would be awesome. You know what? I think I figured out the main the main problem with this game. Open worlds. It's the same problem that I've been talking about. The part of this game that sucks is all the open world parts. The parts where they're actually scary and you're running around. Look at that. She made it. It, it says bad. The kid's crying. It says that you're not supposed to help a kid with first aid. It's the security office. <clears throat> Should be one of those badge head things in here. Oh God. Oh God. Holy fuck. No, thank you. Oh. Okay. No checkpoints. <laughs> I swear to God, this game, the only problem with this game that really matters is the save thing. Everything else is funny and like, oh yeah, that sucks. But like the biggest problem, no goddamn saves. Motherfucker. There was probably a save in that room. If there wasn't, there should have been. <sighs> I'm getting mad. Seething rage. It's fine. It's fine. Fine, just fine. Fine, just fine. That wall just moved. <laughs> Are you Damn it. I really hate uh I I I I really hate that that in order to press the button you have to look away from them. I feel like in real life I would just put my hand behind me, Greg. You know? Why doesn't he just put his hand behind him to hit the button? Why does he gotta look at it? Son of a bitch. Yes, yes, Craig, the wall just moved. Why don't you say it 20 more times, please? God damn you! Design flaw in the Gregory robot does not have elbows. You guys ready to hear it? Let's, let's hear it again. Ooh, what's over here? What's in here? Is there something in here? Hmm? No. What is the point of this? I guess to... Oh, I know why. You can, you can use it to kite people. You can, like, get them to follow you. And then... All right. Whip. The less patience I have... The longer this is gonna take me. <laughs> so this is what you look like inside. This is what you look like inside. I yep. like you better with your shell on. Shell shaming. Endo shaming. He doesn't like them for on the inside. Would you like me if I was a skeleton? You know. Apparently not.
there's one thing you can learn from these games. It's make a fucking autosave. Don't be open world. Have a compass. You'd think they would have added those things in the five years since this game came out, or however long it's been. It's been five years, right? Didn't this come out in 2020? Four years? Almost five? 2019, right? Didn't it come out? 2019? I can't remember when this game came out. Run, 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 run. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Do, 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 do. 2021. Wow. I was way off. Man, imagine a Doctor Who episode where they're trapped in a maze with uh, with Weeping Angels. I guess they technically did that, right? That's the that's the the second Angel episode, I think. But the maze is uh. Okay, is there a save? Office. There's no save. Should be one of those badge head things in here. Looking around, I'm seeing if there's stuff in this room before I turn on all 50 million fucking murder robots. Look at that. The secret. Look at that. That's the glip gl the glitch trap bunny. That's not Vanny. That's glitch trap behind them. Taking over the robots. Lore. I think they're annoying in in concept, but oh my god, what just killed that? I hate, I hate, I hate everything. I hate, I hate, hate it all. I really wanted a gun, damn it! I wanted to start blasting. This game is a lot longer than I remember it being. <laughs> From all the Let's Plays, I thought this game was, like, way shorter. But I think the pro the thing is, is it's not that long a game. It's just you have to repeat it over and over again because there's no goddamn saves. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. I, I can never remember which one came first. Is the SCP a copy of the Weeping Angel, or is the Weeping Angel a copy of the SCP? I feel like the SCP might have actually been first. And somebody read that SCP and then was like, I'm going to write a Doctor Who episode about that. But maybe not. Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe someone saw a Weeping Angel and then was like, let's fucking go. All right, I get it now. Remember when I was like, what is this room for? It's for kiting people? This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get them to chase you. In here, let him follow you, and then you're supposed to go. But I'm just gonna walk past him. It's fine. See, there's one robot. That's the first one. And then you get to the button and you hit the thing. what you look like inside mm -hmm. creepy i like you better with your shell on now i'm just gonna run get the plushie that i don't really need but i keep getting anyway I don't know how I'm going to get out of here at the end. I it, I really feel like maybe I'm supposed to be more strategic. Like I'm supposed to get them stuck. Or just be slower maybe. Yeah, I just got to slow down. Or speed up. One of those. Can I change my speed? Okay. This 
is awful. Run, 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 run. What does this button do? Gotta change that peed. Okay, there's hide containers. I can just use those. It's the security Here we go. Speed. I am speed. Lightning McQueen. Kachow. Run, 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 at full speed. Run, 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 at full speed. They're on both sides! Trying to get to... Mmm... This is awful. This is awful! Awful! I was trying to get back to the hidey hole. Apparently there's noisemakers that can distract people. Did you know that? That was the tip. I wish there was one in here. I have a feeling it wouldn't work. Let's do this for the 50th time. Guys, did you know that that wall just moved? Did you know that? I didn't know that. Who knew? So this is what you look like inside? Did you know that's what he looks like inside? Me neither. I like you better with your shell on. Well, I like you better dead, Greg. How does that feel? Hmm? Why don't you hack that, nerd? Guys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it here. How you guys doing? So you guys said your day was fine. I'm doing pretty good. Anything anybody wants to talk about? I guess I could talk about the lore of this game, but I don't know if there's anything more to say than what we've already talked about. True, you didn't say anything about your day. How was your day, Spikey? Was it a good one? So this is what you look like inside? Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. Gregory doesn't want to hear about your day. Because, you know... He doesn't like it when people take their shells off. Gregory just wants me to play Crab's Treasure. He just wants me to put my shell on. Alright, this is the one. For reals. <laughs> yes, nice weather we're having. No horrible weather phenomena have occurred in the last few weeks. None. Everything's been fine. <laughs> True. Run, 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 run. They're right behind me. Fuck, 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 uh, fuck. Okay. How the fuck do I get out? For real? Okay, what does this button do? It opens the door to the secret murder room. Is there another way out that I don't know about? Is that the secret? There's like some trick to getting out? Like that door. Is that a secret exit that I could use? That's, oh my god, I'm so stupid. I've been trying to go back that way. Maybe this opens. It says exit on it. God, I'm dumb. It says exit. 
It's the security office. Should be one of those badge go, 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 go. go, go, go. I can open parts and service now. Oh, come on. It fucking said, I oh, my God. My God. It, uh, just ignore everything that just happened. There's a save. I can't save because they're fucking coming for me. Are you guys going to go away now? They're going away. He didn't go away. God, I just want to save, dude. If I save right now, I think I'll soft lock myself. Let's do it. New slot. Goodbye. Good day, sir. Where where go now? Run, 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 run. This is the wrong way. This is towards death. Why did I even go in there? I can't even remember. Oh, to get the pass. That's why. Okay, I can just leave now. I must leave. My planet needs me. He's gone, by the way. He just disappeared. Must have teleported with the others. Good idea. We're free. That was a nightmare. But that's the point of the spooky season. You know, last year I just played the regular FNAFs and then I played Dark Anthology and I was like, you know what? That was fun. This year, interesting start. He's coming. Oh lord, he coming. This is a spider. Spider robot, he's a coming. Sometimes the worst nightmares aren't necessarily scary. They're just annoying. I have a long history of looping nightmares. I probably talked about it before, but I've had an I've had a nightmare before where I just I I wake up and then I wake up. And then I wake up and then I wake up. And then you know what happens after that? I wake up. It doesn't stop. Forever. It's awful. Sometimes I wake up and I wake up and it's a different time. Alright, anyway, back... Like, I'm in a different place. Like, I woke up I in a different house. And, and then I wake up and I wake up in a different place. That is great news. He can be returned to his parents. Yes. He can't. Turns out, there's no record of <gasps> What? How unfortunate. If you reattach my head, I will go look for him now. His name is Gregory. You know how I know that? His fazwat kept repeating in your voice. Gregory, are you there? Gregory? Vanessa. Have you heard of Among Us, Gregory? Like me. It is the default voice option. <laughs> if you're part of this, you're scrapped. Monty will run the shows until Person Service can slap your casing on the new Endo. Hang out here for a while. I gotta find that kid. Vanessa, do not leave me like this. Damn. Okay. What a shitty job Vanessa has. Oh God, I've heard of this. Oh no. Please tell me there's a save. Is there a save? I know what happens here. No! There's a guy in here! Why? There's a save. Okay. Is he 
still coming? No, okay. He just sits there. Make an extra slot every time, by the way, when you save, because this game is a classic at soft locking, which means it just like something happens and then you can't play the game anymore. Because there's no autosave system, so of course. Maybe that's why there's no autosave. Maybe they had an autosave and it kept breaking the game. Maybe that was it. Yes, the bags are telling me about a bunch of lore. All right, Welcome here we go. Welcome to the game. We finished the tutorial. Basically, we gotta fix him. What they do to you? Routine maintenance. I am functioning much more better now. Much more better. Grammar function error. Perhaps I am still not at peak performance. Could you uh, reattach <laughs> my head? I don't know. It looks complicated. Just reconnect the wires. And be careful. I am not quite myself at the moment. In case of an emergency, the protective cylinder will protect important service personnel. His feet don't say prototype on it, by the way. Cylinder. Deactivating animatronic safety protocols now. It is recommended that no mistakes are mm. made during the procedure. <laughs> That's true. Wouldn't they? Why don't they just have extra parts? You'd think if there's like 50 of these guys and they're repairing them over and over again. Okay. There's hundreds of endos. Like, Repeat the correct okay. sequence by pressing the flashing connectors. Simon says, baby. Fuck. Okay. This is why I save. I didn't save before I picked up all the bags, though. Oops. It's fine. I'm not even going to pick them up. I'll pick them up after. Welcome to please enter the protective cylinder. God, no. You have to hear all the fucking talking again. Let me just mute it. I've muted the game so we don't have to hear it again. This is the most intense game of Simon Says that will ever exist. Because if I fail, I have to hear it all again. I'm going to fix my, my hair. You see how my hair has that line? Let me fix that. Also, let's see if, it, if my thing crashes when I press the button again. Nope. Good, my thunder works. You can, yeah, you can hear me. Okay, let me fix this. While that's, while that's talking is happening. You ready for this? It's a common problem that, that, that happens. There's a slight drift in the various layers that cause the effects on me. Look at me go. Arrow keys. All my cool effects. Yeah. Layers. VTubers are like layers. No other VTuber can do this. I mean, they can, but nobody else does this. Very specific to me. There we go. Are they done talking? They're done. Okay. Simon says. To reconnect Freddy's head, <sighs> Here we go. The correct sequence by pressing the flashing connectors. I did it. Good job. Now, use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete the procedure. <sighs> mm-hmm. Fuck!
that didn't happen. That 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 didn't happen at all. What just happened? Oh, the game. Oof. Welcome to part. Please enter the protective cylinder to continue. Mhm. Mm Background music while they talk. <laughs> So, um, hey, while we're waiting, I can show you guys the wheel. Let me, let me pop up my wheel, show you my cool wheel. Um, wheel of names. Yes. Monitors, whip. There it is. There's the wheel. So we got SCP. We got Alien Isolation. We got Dark Pictures. We got FNAF. We got Simulator Games. Th those are all the scary things. There's more games under these. Like, I have a list of like 30 games for each of these categories. This is just to pick. Uh, under treats, we got Luigi's Mansion. I really want to play it again. I haven't, ins I haven't downloaded it. This could be great. I don't care that Nintendo will get mad. Crab's Treasure. I want to play Blade and Sorcery. They came out with a new update. I want it, the, the game is officially released. I want to stab people. And then simulator games. There's like 50 simulator games I want to play. I might do a whole month of just simulating. But yes. Hey, Dreadnought, welcome. I've been doing good. Okay, we're playing horror games this month. And we're playing Security Breach, the most scary game ever. Not scary because the game is scary, but scary because if you fail, you have to play it again. Head, repeat the correct sequence by pressing the flashing connectors. I've been doing great. Simon says, or play again. Now use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete the procedure. There's no auto saving in this game, so anytime you fail, you have to do it all again. Listen to dialogue for seven million years. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, okay. Finish the procedure. Job. Freddy is all patched up and ready for the big show. You may now exit the protective cylinder. Let me out. Slow ass door. But yes, welcome back, Dreadnought. I've been on a break for a while. Oh, they won't let me save those bastards. They know. They know what I want to do. I don't know. Well, he's been running around, I guess, but it is interesting. He is super dirty. Did they clean them in this pod? Here's the question about the protective cylinder. Why do I have to be in there to use the freaking Simon Says machine, you know? You'd think you'd be out here to use the Simon Says. That's what the tube is for. But I guess they don't care about... Um, about the There's people. There's so much tech stuff in here. Is there anything I can use to stop the other bots? Bright lights in the eyes cause us to briefly malfunction. I suppose a phaser blaster yes. or a phas cam could work. Gimme. Where do I get one? Well, you can win a phaser blaster in phaser blast. Phas cams are often confiscated in Monte Golf, but you will need a party pass to open one of those attractions. Chica normally gives them out for birthdays. Check her green room in Rockstar Row. You may find one there. Use the service elevators at the back of the room. They go up to Rockstar Row. It looks like they are all out of order except for Roxy's. Okay, we've now come to the open world part of the game, guys. It only took two days. <laughs> yes, I'm getting the bags. The bags that tell me, go get the upgrade. Pictures. 
Chica has some sort of special voice box. Hmm. Roxy has new eyes. And Monty was given better claws. We have to get these. We could upgrade you. Gregory, those parts belong to my friends. I, I would never do anything to hurt them. What? All they've done all night is try to hurt me. Yeah. They get what they deserve. Let's there kill him. Must be a good explanation. Gregory's a You're Joker not fan. Of hurting a guest. None of us are. It would go against our programming. What do you do when you cross a mentally ill pro hacker boy with a with a pizza plex that doesn't respect him? You get what you fucking deserve. That's what you get. <laughs> The fun thing about this game is that Gregory is clearly the bad guy. I just want to point that out. All these robots, they're just like being hacked, right? They're just they're just being messed with. And the fact that Gregory it, like it is it is like revealed after the game comes out through like secret like messages and shit and a book that confirms what the secret messages meant that basically Gregory this entire time has been the bad dude. Like he hacked this entire place program these robots to friggin kill people and then in this game he's trying to stop it which means that everything that happens in this game is both my my character's fault and he um and he's killing the robots to undo it his mistake like he's he hates the robots and we're gonna kill them all because of what we did to them greg gregory sucks he kind he kind of sucks he really is the Joker over here. Baby Joker. We finally found him. Gregory is Baby Joker. Yeah, I guess that's true. Vanny also did stuff. Well, both of them did it, apparently. It depends on who you ask, right? According to the lore, um, Patient 46 is a character, and that's canon. That's a real thing. There's this person, and they're keeping tabs on on, um, on Vanny and making her a thing. Um, and supposedly it's supposed to be Gregory, but that's the thing that doesn't make any sense. Is apparently Gregory broke free and they didn't even show it. It just seems like weird, you know? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I have Freddy now. Freddy! It's me and Freddy for life! You can't hurt me, Roxy, because I have Freddy. I'm in his chest now. Nothing can hurt me as long as I have my teleporting pal. This is such a weird concept for a game in general. Because it's like, okay, we're going to make an open world Five Nights at Freddy's game. How do we do that? Well, um... It's a regular Five Nights at Freddy's where you're walking through different areas and doing the story. But in between that, you get to walk around inside Freddy's stomach and nothing can hurt you. And then when Freddy's battery dies, then everything hurts you. And it's a huge pain in the ass and it sucks. Why is that the game? I don't know. We have to go to Chica's. It's up there. I wonder if we can just go in. Probably not. Nope. My favorite person has arrived. The robot. You guys missed the robot yesterday. The robot was here yesterday, too. How do I get up there? I guess I came down from there. I just have to go around. <laughs> That's not very nice. I mean, that is the plot of this game, I guess, technically. We are killing robots. So we've actually, after all this time, after playing for, what, seven hours now? We're finally at the part in the game where the world opens up. And now it's an open world game where you have to go get three parts. We have to kill each robot. And after we kill them, Freddy gets a part. I kind of wish it's to happen a little earlier in the game. If this was, like, the vibe, but... We, we're finally here. We've done it. Uh, 
Uh oh, he's already low on power. That's not good. He had batteries for like two seconds, man. Freddy, F Freddy, Freddy is basically like my phone. He just dies immediately after being unplugged. You have to keep him plugged in all the time. He's like any controller that's more than three years old. His battery is just dead. Shit. Well, they, they just called everybody. That's not good. No, Roxy, go away. I have to get into Chica's room, but I'm like, how do I get there from here? There's gotta be an, uh, mm, there's gotta be another way around. She can help me die. She could release me from this mortal coil. Freddy, she's coming. Okay, never mind. I'm good. I don't need to get in, in your chest right now. Shit. I don't know where she saw me. I don't know where. How get in there? Stop. Stop it. Just. Oh my. Wait. For a second, I thought I glitched through the wall. That would have been so cool. Okay. Hmm. I need to pass. I have security level five. That's what I just got. I guess I just got four. I thought I had five, but. How do I get in there? Dude, I hate these guys. I hate you. Stop it. Oh, she's coming. Oh, Lord, she coming. Can't go in there either. Okay. <sighs> Guys, this game... This game makes me sad inside. <laughs> All right, Fred, round two, let's go. I'm gonna check the map. That's what I'm gonna do. Actually, you know, I'll get out of Freddy because his batteries are low. And I'll check the map here. Here we go. All right. Find the party pass in Chica's room, green room. So not, yeah, in Chica's room. That's what that was, that was Chica's room. So this is the map. I wish I could tell what any of this means. That's where I am. So, is there an arrow for where my mission goes? Nope. You know what would really make this work? Like a compass or like a quest marker. Doesn't seem like any of those things are on this map. So why even make this map if you're not going to tell me where things are? Okay. That's fine. Anyway, though, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to feel about this game. I got mixed. I got mixed emotions. I think, like I said, the potential. Incredible. Alright, so I can't get in there for some reason, even though I already got a pass. Maybe there was a pass back where I started that I didn't pick up. Because I could have sworn when I was in the murder room they gave me a pass, but I guess not. I hate... I hate... Uh, here she comes. You ruined my fun. Let's just go over here. Let's just, let's just, let's just. I don't even know where to go now at this point. I'm, I'm lost. Like, I know where they want me to go, but I don't know how to get in there. This is the problem with an open world game where you don't have a compass. There's got to be a setting or something that I have turned off, right? There's got to be like a, a, a compass button or something. Or like a thing on here that's just like, oh, you can make the, you can make a compass. 
It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like there's a there's a thing that's like activate compass. Nope. There's nothing. It would be real easy. You've given me a magical watch that can give me a map that shows the entire area that has a a comm link to my robot pal, but you can't give me a compass that points to where to go. Well, you see, if we gave him a compass, then he would know where he needs to go, and then the game would be rel way, way shorter and more fun. We can't have that. We want him to be scared. If he knows where he is, he won't be scared. Those aren't connected. Okay. I'm going. I'm walking. I'm exploring. Okay. That must be it. There's a four on there. I haven't been in here. This is a good sign. I just wanted a fucking circle, didn't I? Maybe I can go into Freddy's room and then double back. This is where we started the game. Come on out. Yep. Okay. This is this has got to be it. It's got to be the way. I can charge. Charge, Freddy. Charge. There we go. Okay, back on track. Jump up in here. I said jump up in there. Come on, come on game. There we go. Good game. Yes, remember this from the tutorial? We're back. I hope it leads to Chica's room. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I remember where this goes. It's going to the outside. I'm gonna have to do this again. Oh God, he's coming for me. Fucking no. No, oh, open, open. Oh, I did it, I did it. Fuck yeah! Genius. They all got their own arcade machines. There we go. Okay. Guys. I did it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Find the recharge stations. You should be able to see their locations on the map. Okay, wait, there's one in Freddy's. I can just go to Freddy's. He's coming for me. The night the man from my nightmares. The man! The man from my nightmares! Freddy! It's past your bedtime. Freddy, save me! Freddy! Now I'm fine. He can't hurt me. He can't hurt me. Moon can't hurt me. He can't moon me. He can't hurt me when I'm in, in my when I'm in my safe space. When I'm bored inside Freddy, nothing can hurt me. Gregory. Pass is very special. It will let you into Phaser Blast or Monte Golf. However, it can only be used once. 
Okay. I have to pick. How do I use it? Just give it to a party bot. They usually stay in front of the attractions collecting party passes. If you have one, it will let you in. I have marked both locations on your map. Alright, here's the thing, right? Now he finally marked it. Yeah, I'm picking the gun, obviously. It's like, yo, you want a gun or do you want a camera? Uh, gun? Duh. <laughs> the camera is useful, though, because it lets you unlock secrets. I've been finding a bunch of all these posters. There's every single Foxy one you have to take pictures of with the camera. And every time I see one, I think, man, I wish I had that camera. Um, yeah, you can, you can, in this game, you can get a camera and you can get a gun. And they both do the same thing. Um, but the camera is like an AOE and the gun you have to aim. So the camera is technically better, but I'm get I'm getting me, I'm getting me a gun. I want it. Okay. Upstairs. That's not upstairs. That's the place there. Uh, which way is it? I always get lost. I have a map. That's the way. It's actually marked on the map, but I don't need it now because now I know where to go because I've been here. I done been in here. I will say I know the layout of this place better now after having gone through here once already. They're teaching me. Yes, it's gun time. Gun, gun, gun. Let's go to gun. Do, 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 do. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. I want a gun. All right. I am there. Gun is. I don't. Right. Not really clear. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Freddy, teleport. Can't hurt me. Can't hurt me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Keep searching. See? He can't hide forever. Yes, I'm definitely hiding. You definitely didn't see me get in his chest. Alright. That's Monty Golf. Other side is where I want to go. Look at the signs on the wall. Bonnie Bowl. Which one is the one? It's the, the flat Fazer Blast. Fazer Blast. It must be upstairs. That's probably where it is. That makes sense. Feasibly. Superstar Arcade. Fazcade. There's two arcades. L Chip. What an insane place. Weird that you would have competing arcades in your own mall. That's Fazer Blast. Seems like a, a major mistake on their part. Like, hey, we're gonna create a mall where everything that kids buy, uh, we own. So no matter what happens, they give us money. You know what, now that I think about it, no, that's a good idea. Because if you have two arcades, then the kids will like, be like, ooh, I want to go to the other arcade. They have this game. You know what? I was wrong. I wasn't big-brained enough. Everybody in this building is giving them money, so it doesn't matter where they go. Makes sense. I wish this place like this was real. This place would be cool. I don't think there's malls like this in the real world. You know, super malls. with a bunch of robots. How many people come here every day, you know? Gotta be like hundreds of people hanging out at this place. If it's this big. There's a whole section just for pasta. Pasta, ice cream, and salads. Separate. Oh my god. This place is a goddamn wonderland. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Um, I have a pass. Let me in. Dance. Thank you. Give me a gun. High intensity space combat simulation. Suit up and save the universe as you blast everyone and everything with high tech laser effects. Blast strangers, blast your friends, beat the superstar score, and get a free Phaser Blaster gun. Enlist now. Gregory, I'm not nearly that annoying, am I? <laughs> You're not annoying, Freddy. The only thing annoying about this game is that every time I die, I have to hear everything again. So no matter what you say, it gets annoying. It's not your fault. The developer's fault. Hmm. Okay. I want a blaster. There's a save. The only annoying one is Greg. Maybe. You must be the new phaser blast recruits in from the looks of you. The orange mm -hmm. slash blue team hasn't got a chance. Soon you will be fighting for your lives on a hostile alien planet. Hell but yeah. But first, I am here to tell you how to play phaser blast. Okay. There are two rules you must follow at all times. Mm -hmm. Rule number one, no running. No climbing, no jumping, no hitting, kicking, pushing, shoving, no shooting fast blasters in, near or close to other players' That's eyes. That's rule one. Being flashed in the eyes may induce seizures, blindness, or semi-permanent paralysis. If you are flashed in the eyes, immediately flush your eyes um. with soap and water and blink repeatedly until vision is restored. Rule number two, have fun. Yeah! Do you want to hear the rules again? I'm good. Give me gun. Warning. Phaser Blast is a high energy space combat simulation. Okay. People with medical conditions are allowed to participate. My medical software makes me a qualified doctor and I approve of this message. <laughs> By listening to these instructions, you have waived all rights and before you can enter the arena, <laughs> you need to grab a helmet and Phaser Blaster. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh, dude, you know what I can use? I didn't even know you get a helmet. Man, I never thought I'd use it again. Do you guys remember when I was playing Kingdom Hearts? And I got a cool prop that I said, I'm probably never going to use this again. Well, guess what? If I can find it, I'm going to use it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Yes. Nice. Just adjust it slightly. Hmm? I've never played Kingdom Hearts, huh? Not this me, I guess. Just making sure. Since I switched models, I have to redo all my all my items every time. It's very annoying. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready for the adventure of a lifetime. That looks crazy with the effects. Let me turn that off. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Where's the helmet? Blaster return. You gonna let me grab it or what? Am I crazy? What? Requires phaser blast. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to grab it. There we go. Okay, you don't actually have to grab a helmet, I guess. You just grab the gun. Guess what? Gun time. I'm so excited. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's time, baby. Oh, it has a recharge? That's... Okay. 
I probably shouldn't have blasted it 15 times then. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do 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 do. Orange team, soldier, report to the orange hallway. Do 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 do. Ba 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 da ba. Start game. Let's go! This is the coolest thing in the world. I've never wanted to be 12 more in my life. Can't hide from me. Can't hide from me. He's already dead. More robots to kill. <laughs> sure. I didn't know there were actual murder robots in here. That doesn't seem fair. Come on, where are the other ones? Where are you hiding, coward? Show yourself. You have captured the flag. Time to defend. Nice. Come at me, bro. Get shot. I don't know. Maybe it's glitching or maybe it's supposed to be there. Oh, come on! You ruined my fun, Chica! You ruined my fun! Ch Chica. Ruining everybody's fun times. You suck. You must be the new freezer blast uh -huh. recruit. Yeah, Even recruit, yeah. Uh -huh. slash blue team hasn't got a chance. So I obviously want to be on the blue team. Arena. You need to grab the helmet and has blaster. Mm-hmm. I'll be blue. Blue for life. Blue. You are on the orange team. Stop. Really? To the orange That's not way. fair. I wanted to be on blue this time. Fine, I'm orange. Full on. Let's go. This is the one. I'm so excited. Come on. Let's not have Chica ruin our fun this time. Okay. I gotta get the flag, and then they'll come after me. Dude, this is the coolest amusement park ever made. Can't hurt me. Can't hurt me. I'm behind a wall. Can't shoot behind a wall. Can't do it. Can't hit me. No, batteries, come on! Recharge! Yeah! Did I? Seems like he got there. Well, okay. You too. I'm glad that while the murderous robot is chasing me, I can I can play this fun game. I feel like Chica being here is kind of counterintuitive to the overall fun of this. Where the hell is it? Come on, where's the flag? I'm looking, there it is. You have captured the flag. 
You're stunned. What the? Why is she in here? That's got to be a glitch, right? There's no way that that's the way the game is actually supposed to be. That really doesn't seem right. Like at all. Right? Am I crazy? The orange slash blue team hasn't got a chance. Before you can enter the arena, you need to grab the helmet and the blaster. You are on the orange team, soldier. Report to the orange hallway. All right. Here we go. There's the one upstairs, and then there's one down here. I should do this one first. This area is I can't believe Chica's here to just ruin all of my fun. That's the that's the real real sin of the game. Come on, recharge! No! Oh, the ammo thing is so annoying. There we go. No! Ooh, okay. I get it. I'm waiting. Alright. Here we go. Five in a row. Now let it reset. Hell yeah. You have successfully defended the station. Move on to the next one. Greatest gamer in history. Oh, I am low on health. I didn't realize. Oh yeah, you can straight up lose. I wonder what happens when you lose. Do you die? Seems like I just lose the game. You have captured the flag. Time to defend. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you playing laser tag rather than running away from the murderous robot? I don't know. I'm guessing the door's locked and I have to do this in order to unlock the door. That's my guess. But also I'm doing it because it's fun. It is probably the most fun the game's been so far. About as fun as laser tag. You know, in the sense that the gun is kind of, a kind of inconsistent in where, where you get hit, and when it goes off. You have captured the flag. Time to defend. And the enemies are predictable because they're just dudes. Just like in real life. The only thing that's missing is me losing my DS because it was in my pocket. I 
won. You he almost beat me. He almost got army. it. Good job, Space Cadet. Yeah. Proceed to the winner's elevator. Nice. For winner's elevator. That's what I'm talking about. Elevator time. Out of my way. No time for you. Oh, that, that's not the elevator. That's where I came in, I guess. Only does the flashlight. Doesn't do the gun. Where the hell is? Hmm. This area is off Here we go. Really? Come on! Oh! Guys, I think I'm going to stop. I don't know if I could do all that again. <laughs> I don't know if I could do all of laser tag again. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. I, I think I, I think I might, I think I might be done, guys. I don't know if I could do all that now. Ugh. You win, FNAF. You win for today. I'm coming back tomorrow. FNAF wins. <laughs> Least satisfying ending. But you know what? That's how it goes sometimes, you know? <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys like this. I know this stream was weird. I know it was very buggy and it crashed 15 times and my computer is collapsing in on itself as we speak. I'm going to try to fix my computer between today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to beat this game. The whole thing. It's going to happen. In one day. We're going to do it. Tomorrow we're going to beat the entire game. I'm going to do it. We're going to go in. We're going to, we're going to shoot them. We're going to rip Chica's mouth off. We're going to rip off Mati's claws. We're going to kill um wolf uh, roxanne wolf and steal her eyeballs it's gonna be great i'm gonna do it all tomorrow we're gonna do it all of it one sitting all right um i feel like i should have a sign off or something like a, i'm sorry <laughs> I think I think we're just done. Thanks for sitting by as I do this nightmare um, and enjoying the pain. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with hopefully less problems. Seems like I fixed everything. Um, thanks thanks for watching and hanging out. Bye. 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 Bye.